These are the most repairable headphones in the world. It finally happened. We have repairable headphones. AirPod Maxes are impossible to repair, so these are an absolute godsend. As soon as I saw these, I asked Fairphone to send me these because I knew I had to get my hands on them. But this isn't a paid promotion, so I'll still be giving my honest opinion on how repairable they are and how good they sound. So these cost 249 euros, which is about $269, but they don't sell these in North America yet, so you're gonna have to wait on that. Inside the box, we have our Fairphone Fairbud XL headphones, and we have a pouch, an instruction manual, and that's it. That's all. Fairphone is all about protecting the environment and being sustainable, so it makes sense why they have minimalistic packaging as well as no USB-C cable because in 2023, everybody has those. We'll move this aside. And here are the actual Fairbuds. I'm not so sure I'm a big fan of the green color, but they do sell this in black, which probably is what I would end up buying. But these do look pretty nice. I definitely am a fan of the speckled little dots i don't know what to call that it does feel pretty nice a little bit of clicking we got going on over here my favorite part about these definitely has to be this little joystick right here this honestly feels really nice and i'm sure you can do all sorts of fun things with this the headbands are fully adjustable and if you're wondering why this cable is kind of sticking out over here it's because when you pull on the headband basically there has to be enough leeway for the actual wire to you know what I'm talking about. Before we listen to these, I'm gonna do a teardown and see how easy it is to disassemble and reassemble these headphones. So, um, yeah, where do we start? I think these come off. This has to be the best feature of these headphones. Imagine you're out, your battery dies, you just pop the battery out and then pop another one in. Honestly, incredible. So this battery is only 800 milliamp hours, but like I said, if you could just pop one in, there's really nothing to worry about in terms of battery life. Now that we have the battery removed, you can see that there's a, uh, I think that's, that's five Phillips screws that we need to remove. Now we'll hit the Fairbuds with an unscrew. Okay, I think we could just disconnect this like that. That is the coolest thing ever. So this whole entire wire is just a USB-C cable. We'll continue to unscrew. All of these screws look to be the same size, which is very nice. And let's see what's under the hood. Okay. Nice. Yeah, so this is one of the noise cancellation microphones and you could just disconnect it. This is modular. There's a little board under here which connects to the battery and then it looks to me like we have some hard solder wires from the actual driver to this board. But the chances of you actually needing to replace this board are very, very slim. We'll go a little bit deeper. If you guys are enjoying the video, don't forget to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and uh, yeah, that'll make my day. Unscrew number two. Oh, so this board does come off. So the only non-modular component is this little tiny board here, which basically just connects the drivers to the main board. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna put this back together. Now it's time to take a look at the other side. This is where all the juicy components would go, so let's Let's see if this is any harder. I think we just pop. Yeah, change is in your hands. Very cool mantra. And now, oh, same concept. Basically, we could just disconnect the USB-C cable and the driver just comes off. Once again, same size screws everywhere, making your life just a little bit easier. Let's open this up. And that looks very busy. Let's figure this out. So we have another microphone here and we just have a bunch of connectors. Holy crap, this is busy. So I guess we'll just start disconnecting everything and see what's underneath this board. So far, this has been very straightforward, very easy to do. And honestly, it's very refreshing to do this. So now, if I'm not mistaken, we can just pull up on this board and this is the board. So the cushions come off like that. You could just twist them off. We're also able to actually replace this cable or the band. I believe you could just open this up like that and then pull this off. If you needed to replace the actual cushion, you can. You could just pull it off. So now that we have that off, you can see the USB-C cable a little bit better. So this obviously pops right out and you have these little clips here that basically hold it in place. 
You can replace this, 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 this. You can replace everything. That's what makes these so beautiful. Now it's time for the audio test. So these are very repairable, but do they sound good? Let's find out. So yeah, these definitely sound good. I don't think they excel in anything particular, but they are pretty good headphones. And if you ask me, this is incentive enough to buy this. This is amazing. It's like a dream come true. Let me know how you guys think they sound and if you guys would purchase this in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.